What's up YouTube? This is your girl Storm here and I'm back with another really quick video for you guys. Yes, more 3D information, 3DS information I should say. I should say. Um, but this time I'm coming to you with reviews on games that I've been playing. Um, some I own, some that I don't, but I've been able to play them and I have them here with me. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So first up we're going to get the Nintendo 3DS out of the Pokemon Black case. And show you that I that I was actually able to encounter some uh, street pass into my Mii Plaza, which was really cool because I was coming from the gym, actually, and, um, you know, I was walking through the gym or whatever, and when I went to take my 3DS out the bag, it's it had, like, a little blinking green light. I was like, what the heck is going on? I opened it, I was like, oh, snap! Three, um, Mii Plaza characters, street pass, what? My area? Really? I was amped. And um, so if you could see here, it says Plaza Me Characters Three, which is my which is my me and two others. That's my little me there, which I always seem to be the shortest. I'm getting ready to show you my um my little me area thing. This is um whoever this guy is, Game Man 101. I encountered him three days ago. And Ian, which I encountered two days ago. So it's pretty amped to see that people in my area have a Nintendo 3DS and they leave it on for the uh for the street pass, because when I saw it, I was like, word, that's dope, that's dope. Um, but also, but also my meme maker, you know, you can um, scan other pe other people's memes into your me area and have a me festival. And it's weird because I have a lot of guys in my me plaza. Um, I need some, uh, some other friends out there, but these are other YouTubers and other friends that I have in my Mii Plaza area. And for some reason they are just standing around. But if you see yourself in my Mii Plaza, there you go. Um, oh, now they're starting to walk around. Now they're not being lazy. But they're all looking one way. I don't understand it. But anyway, well, we'll go ahead and just turn this off. Uh oh. We will go ahead and get out of there. And um, let's go ahead and get into the games that I've been playing and some of the games that I own. First game Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. This game is amazing. 2D graphics are really well done. The uh, 3D graphics are just beyond belief with this game. Like, you see the commercials? It looks. And I'm, I just got a text. Um, anyway, you see the commercials? It looks just like the commercials. I was so amped when I played this. Um, me and Element, uh, 6623236 something, um, we actually played a few rounds of this, um, and he whooped my anus. Like, he whooped my anus. I think we played three matches. He won all three of them. I did not get one victory in any match. I suck at Super Street Fighter on, um, on the Nintendo 3DS, but nonetheless... It is a very amazing game. So if you have the 3DS, you definitely want to pick this up, especially for the uh, Wi-Fi capability. The only thing that sucks is there's no voice chat incorporated into this game. I don't know how I feel about that because when I was getting my butt kicked, I still wanted to talk junk. But um, yeah, Wi-Fi is built in, but no um, no voice chat capability for this game. Up next, we have Pilot Wings Resort. Awesome game. I personally enjoyed the Pilot Wings when it was on um, the Super NES. Um, I enjoyed it then. I enjoy it now. So um, 2D is really good. The 3D can get a little iffy sometimes. Uh, the 3D graphics are, don't get me wrong, are really good. But sometimes just doing certain missions and stuff, the 3D can be overwhelming and it can be too much. So I have to play it at half, half speed or half 3D, whatever you want to call it, at the halfway mark of the 3D. Um, when I play this, but really good, relaxing type of game. It's not one of those games where you want to really get into and, like, have, like, so much fun that you don't know what to do. No, it's one of those games where you play to relax and, you know, just kind of take your mind off of other things. Awesome, awesome game. Kind of wish it was Wi-Fi, though, and it's not. Up next, Super Monkey Ball 3D. Um, this is not mine, but I was able to play it, um... Somebody let me just borrow it to play with it, and really awesome. 
my uh my computer just stopped i don't know why but um anyway really awesome game really really awesome game i love it a lot the 3d well because i like the super monkey ball series i loved it on the wii i loved it on the gamecube and i loved it on the over the nintendo ds not the 3ds but the original nintendo 3ds like the dsi and the xl and the original anyway um super monkey ball 3d i love i love the adventures that you get in this game i love the puzzles um love the racing the the courses are a little bit iffy on this one uh monkey ball fighting is great but um Nonetheless, overall, a really great game for the if you like the Monkey Ball series. If you don't like the Monkey Ball series, I would kind of pass on this because um, it's not really there. Like they could have done so much more with the game, but I love the Monkey Ball series, so I, I definitely love. Um, I definitely enjoy this game. Up next is Star Wars Three 3D. Um, well, I should say Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars Three 3D. Um, the game is great. If you like Lego games, um, to me, they're all the same. You build stuff, you destroy stuff, you collect pieces, you end your mission. All Lego games are the same, but they're all funny when you, like, destroy stuff and you, like, just break crap apart and build stuff. To me, I love it. I, I think it's epic. Never really played a Star Wars edition of the, um, of the Lego series. And to be honest with you, I've never really seen a Star Wars movie. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. The game is okay. Um, I don't find too much enjoyment in the game, but maybe it's just me and it's maybe it's just something that I got to get used to. So, um, yeah. The 3D effects in the game are, are decent though. Let me not, because this is a 3DS, let me not subside that. Um, the 3D, the 3D effects in this are really good. Up next, Rayman 3D. This game is, I don't like it. I love the Rayman series. I enjoy the Rayman series far beyond belief. This game, I do not care for. The 3D effects are alright. The game could have been way more than what it is. Um, I haven't really played through it or beaten it yet, so I really can't talk too much about it. But um, I, I was expecting more from this. I was expecting a lot more happiness, a lot more, oh my god, it's Rayman! But no, I didn't get what I thought it should have been. Just my personal opinion. And... Of course, if you have a Nintendo DS, you got to have a Nintendogs. I personally don't like cats. I am not a cat person. I don't like the... I don't like none... No, I don't like cats. No. But Nintendogs, I got the um, the French Bulldog and new friends and cats. I'm not getting a cat because if I get a cat, I want the dog to chase it up a tree and it won't. So there's no point in putting a cat in the house. Anyway, got Nintendogs, uh, French Bulldog edition because I thought this one was the cutest um, version to get. It's your typical Nintendogs game. One thing I don't like about the game, though, is, like, when you take your dog for a walk, you no longer have the route to where if you want to take him to the gym to train him for competitions or take him to the park, um, to throw frisbees or play with other dogs. Like, there's no route that you have to take. Like, you really have to just tug on a leash and just kind of guide them. And it gets a bit frustrating sometimes because that leash doesn't always work. And, um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. And last but not least, you have your... AR cards, your augmented reality cards. Um, really fun, because now that I have games that you can incorporate them with, like Nintendogs, and um, there's another game that you can incorporate your, uh, your AR cards with, and that little question mark card makes a world of difference when you play games. So augmented reality cards are way, are way more useful than I would, thought they would have been, but um, yeah, that's my quick review on some... Nintendo 3DS games. If I had to make a suggestion out of all of, out of all the six games that I have, I would definitely I would definitely go with Super Street Fighter 4, um, Pilot Wings, Resort, and Nintendo Dogs. Only for the simple fact that Nintendo Dogs is your Nintendo Dogs game. Oh my God! I don't have this many friends. Why am I getting this many text messages? Um, but I. I really am looking. I want to pick up Steel Diver and I want to pick up Ridge Racer, um, but I may pick up Pro Evolution Soccer 2011 because um, I played soccer for eight, nine years, eight years of my life, and I love to play soccer as as far as video game wise goes. I'm not sure how it's gonna play out because I've never really played a soccer video game, but I've been hearing a lot of positive things of Pro Evolution, so I'm definitely gonna look into that. But until next time, this is your girl Storm. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for everything. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. So until next time, 
My computer's acting crazy. So until next time, this is your girl Storm, and I'll check you guys on the next video. All right, peace. Ha. <laughs>